to my channel and if you are new here my name is Audrey so today it's gonna to be a little bit different I got a feeling this is gonna be a long video I don't know but I have a strong feeling because I have a lot of stuff to show y'all so this is gonna be my holiday beauty fragrance hair favorites um, there's accessories thrown in here you name it I'm gonna be talking about it so we have a whole lot to cover so if you haven't already hit that subscribe button and that notification bell to let you know when I upload a new video and let's go ahead and get started So before we switch over into the makeup section of this video where y'all see me with no makeup on and we end up here wherever this is, <laughs> I wanted to talk to y'all for just a second about Dossier. I have talked to y'all about them several times before on my channel and they were kind enough to send me three more fragrances to share with y'all. So if you don't already know, Dossier offers tons and tons of fragrances that are inspired by many, many popular fragrances that are on the market. So I'm going to start with, let's see, we'll start with their version of the Versace Bright Crystal. So I have the Fruity Magnolia. So this is what their bottles look like. So this one is $29 for 1.7 ounces of their version of the Versace Bright Crystal. Now the Bright Crystal looks like this. I'll put up a picture over here. For the 1.7 ounce of the Versace, it is $85. And this one, y'all, smells exactly like it and it is $29. So you have that magnetic lid on here. It smells amazing. And I and I have been working with Versace Bright Crystal for years and years. I used to own a bottle of it. I was obsessed with it. And now this one, y'all, it is exactly the same. So the top notes is pomegranate, yuzu, aquatic, accord. The middle notes, magnolia, peony, and rose. Base notes, amber, musk, and a kuju wood. So the fruity magnolia is exactly like the Versace Bright Crystal. I love this one. I have loved it for years. So it's really nice to be able to get your favorite scents, and they last just as long. They, these last all day and at a really good price. I mean, $29, and the great thing about Dossier is if it does not work for you, you can send it back for another bottle or a refund. So where else are you gonna be able to do that easily? So $29, if you don't like it, send it back and get you another one. The other one I wanted to talk about is another kind of oldie goldie favorite, so the Dior, Miss Dior Blooming Bouquet. This is the Citrus Peony from Dossier, and this one is 1.7 ounces for $29. And the original Miss Dior Blooming Bouquet looks like this. And so for the same 1.7 ounces of this one, it is $95. So Dossier offers it for $29, and it again is the exact same. It's a little bit more crisp, like a little more brighter than the Blooming Bouquet, than the Dior one, but it is absolutely beautiful and I mean that in the best way it's just really really nice and when you put it on and it just sticks to your clothes and it just smells so good so this one is the top notes are mandarin bergamot and black currant the middle notes are rose apricot and peony and the base notes are musk peach and raspberry so this is a gorgeous gorgeous scent so if you are a Dior fan but not a fan of that $95 <laughs> you might want to give this a shot because it is absolutely beautiful love this one I'm gonna have to get my friend Sherry one of these because she always liked that one too so you know so really good gifts too if you have somebody that loves fragrances because there are some fragrance fanatics out there people love their scents they just love them so these are really good gifts and they're you cannot go wrong and now the last dossier fragrance that I wanted to talk about is one that I honestly have never smelled the original <laughs> I hate to say that because it is $265 for a 1.7 ounce bottle so I'm just kind of going blind as far as the scent of it I don't know exactly what the original one smells like but I've been very curious to try it because a lot of people talk about it so the this is the floral marshmallow and it's 1.7 ounces now this one's a little bit more it's 39 dollars where most of theirs are 29 so this one's 39 dollars and i can t it 
there it's worth every penny it's worth that extra ten dollars so this is dossier's version of love don't be shy from killian paris so now like i said here's the bottle of that one it is 1.7 ounces for 265 whole dollars so this one y'all on my skin it smells just like black licorice in the best way it is amazing it smells so good i've never worn anything that smells like that i'm mostly a vanilla girl so this one is just oh, it's so good so the top notes are marshmallow neroli and bergamot middle notes are orange blossom honeysuckle jasmine and orris base notes are amber vanilla and musk all those combined when this dries down a little bit on me it smells just like black licorice and i love it it's so different and it's just it is beautiful. It almost smells like like black licorice and root beer and I don't know, like, it's amazing. So again, I don't know what the original one smells like, but I know I love this one. So it, it's just beautiful. It kind of takes you back to just another time. I don't know. It's absolutely gorgeous. I love love this one. I I love it. So definitely check out Dossier. All these will be linked down below. Um they did provide these for me, so a huge, huge thank you to them for providing these fragrances for me. I absolutely love working with them. And y'all, the price, the quality, the it is so worth every single penny. And again, there's really no risk because you can always send it back if you don't like it and exchange it for one that you will. So highly recommend these, especially the floral marshmallow because it's very unique, it's different. I have never smelled anything that smells like this in my life and it is absolutely beautiful. So we're gonna start with skincare first. I just wanted to talk about that really quick because I have a lot of people ask me about skincare. So as y'all know, I am 42 years old. I have very dry skin. I have always had dry skin, my body, my face, everything very dry and very, very sensitive. So I am, I am prone to break out in hives, especially here. Um, I can't do a lot of essential oils, like a lot of the natural stuff. I don't know why. It just does not work well for me. So I just have a lot of issues. And any of y'all that are sensitive to a lot of different things, it is a trial and error. You have to try something one at a time and then eliminate it and figure out what it is that is causing the problem. So. Oh, here's our little baby that y'all don't see very often, but there she is. You hear her, but there she is. I'm going to start from beginning to end. So cleanser, I have been using, as y'all can see, it's almost empty. I'm down to here on this one. So this is the Youth to the People. It's the Green Tea Spinach Vitamins Cleanser, or the Superfood Cleanser. So love, love, love this one. It all vegan, everything. It comes in glass. The bottle is glass, so you can recycle it. And they do sell many. So, you know, at work, we have it in the little travel size. So and it, there's a lot in it. You only need like one little bit and you can wash your whole face. So love that cleanser. So now as far as my skincare, I have four products that I have been using pretty much just religiously. I don't miss a morning. I don't miss a night. And I am really, really happy with the state of my skin. And I think it's because of that and the addition to so much water because I've switched to 100% only drinking water. Um, and it does help your skin, trust me. So the first thing I do after I cleanse my skin, I don't use a toner because just over the years, toners for me, they just either, I don't feel like they really do a whole lot. And I mean, if you have more acne prone or really oily skin, I think that toners are a better fit. For me and my skin, I just don't think it works. I've tried witch hazel, I've tried rose, I've tried everything you can try. And I just think it's a step that I personally don't need, but you do what works for you always. So immediately after cleansing my skin, I use the Ordinary. It is their hyaluronic acid. Love this. It's a hyaluronic acid and vitamin B5. It's a little bit on the sticky side when you look at it when you first, as y'all can see, when you first take it out. And if you use too much, it's going to kind of almost look soapy. So only use a little bit. I do put it in my, in my hands and I lightly rub it together and I press it into my skin just like that. That's what works for me and I love this absolutely love it and I'm going to prove to y'all how much I love it. I have <laughs> so I have two more boxes of it. So I have this one and I'm down to here and then I have two more unopened. As y'all can see, I have two more of them unopened. They uh, the ordinary is so affordable. Um I think that the big bottle like this is $13 a piece and y'all know I do get a discount cuz I work there but um 
definitely I will not run out of this. So I immediately follow it up with a moisturizer and a rose hip oil mixture. So in the morning, I do the same thing, the hyaluronic acid that I just showed y'all, and I put on the Inky List Omega Water Cream. So I have an extra one of that right here. So I have this one and then another one. <laughs> so I do, that is what I do in the morning because I, I don't want it to be too heavy under my makeup and start breaking it up. So I use the Omega Water Cream in the morning over the hyaluronic acid for the day. And at night, Inky List recently came out with a little bit more of a, a more potent line. So it is the Super Solutions. So at night, I do the hyaluronic acid and I do a mixture of the Inky List. It's their new 10%, I guess, Urea? 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 But anyway, it's amazing. This moisturizer is so good, but you don't need much. You just need a little bit. And then I mix with this the Ordinary's Rose Hip Oil. And I have, I have another one of those too. <laughs> back up. It looks like a little store in my bathroom where I keep, I keep this in the front and the new ones in the back because I just don't want to run out. And like I said, I think this is maybe $6. So, you know, it's really good deal for quality items. I mean, I love this whole combination of stuff. So the superfoods cleanser at night and then followed by the hyaluronic acid, then the urea and rosehip oil mixture during the day, hyaluronic acid and the water cream from Inky List. And so for both morning and night, I use the same eye cream. I don't do a different eye cream for both. I just I just don't, but I use the Sephora brand, so it's our brand of the Brightening Eye Cream. Really love this one. I'm gonna put a little bit of it on now because I didn't put any on a few minutes ago when I did everything else, but it's really, really soft. It's really nice, not, I don't know. I just don't like a lot of the fragrances and a lot of the really heavy stuff. So this, like I said, has become kind of my my go-to routine. Now that's not to say it will always be this way because I think about every 10 years my skin seems to kind of go wild. So <laughs> who knows what it'll do next. But for now and for quite some time, this has been what I've been doing for my skin and I'm really, really, really happy with this. So we are going to go right into the cosmetics and I have a lot of new favorites and old favorites that I wanted to share with y'all. So we're just going to jump right in to the cosmetics part. So for my foundation, I have been using Makeup Revolution for quite some time, their stick foundation, but it started to get a little bit it started to break up some during the day when I would, I would be at work for longer shifts, you know, the holidays, you know, retail, y'all know how it goes. So this one was actually on sale at work, so I thought I'd give it a try and I really, really like it. So it's by the Beauty Blender brand, so they make your little beauty blenders, but this is their foundation. It's the Bounce Skin Tint. I went with the light one. That is the lightest shade that it comes in. So that's the shade that I got. And it's just the little dropper here and that is it. So I would say shake it up really well, but this is a really, really nice foundation. And it's got coverage to it, but not, not anything, not heavy. It doesn't feel heavy on your skin. So I just wanted to show y'all a little bit of that. I'm not big on dr dripping makeup on my face, but with the dropper, there's it's kind of what you do. <laughs> so I have my beauty blender in hot water right here. So I always wet my beauty blender with hot water. I just think it makes it a little bit softer and bouncier. So I'm just going to bounce away. And people, you know, I've said this before on here, make sure that y'all wet your beauty blender because at work people say, I bet I hear it at least once a week where people will say, well, I didn't know you were supposed to wet them. Just y'all wet them. Just wet them because it makes a world of difference. Because if you look at that little beauty blender in that container, it's just like a tiny little dry egg. <laughs> and then it puffs up like this and you could just bounce your makeup on. But I really love this foundation. It, again, it's not heavy at all. Now, I do like to do some heavier foundation. I always have. Um, I used to be a big, big fan of the Locket foundation from Kat Von D. And I do actually have a new bottle of that because it went on sale too. So I went ahead and got it for those days that I wanted a little bit more coverage. But I don't really do the heavier stuff now. I used to, but it's good to have if you, you know, just different occasions and stuff. You could use it as a concealer too. Um, but I love this one because it's not too... I've got these 
sideburn baby hairs. <laughs> it's driving me crazy. But I love this foundation. It's just really, really nice without being heavy. Um, so a good option for you. And I think it's, I think it's like, I don't know, I think it might be like $26 regular or $29. I'm not really sure. I think it's like $26. I don't know why that number is standing out to me for some reason. So there's the foundation. So again, that is the Beauty Blender Bounce Skin Tint in the Light one and everything's going to be linked down below anything i can possibly put in there for y'all you'll have it so if you are interested in any of it i will give y'all links to all of it um so next i'm going to do some concealer and this is the best skin ever now i, I love this concealer because again i've been using the makeup revolution for such a long time the conceal and hydrate but this one y'all it is so good but you got the big doe foot applicator i went with the 03 p which is i think the second or third lightest shade there's one that is pure white i mean it's almost pure white so you know if you are lighter than me which this one is pretty light but i just think it's beautiful i love this concealer and it's so much in this container that you you won't go through it for a very long time so definitely take a look at the best skin ever. We have a foundation too that's the best skin ever and I have that one but that one is a little bit thick for me just for right now but it is a beautiful finish of a foundation so if you like a heavier foundation you may want to check that one out but I love this concealer it is so pretty but as y'all can see I just do under my eyes here and I do my forehead a little bit and I bring it to my cheeks just because that's where I'm the most red. And I do have a few freckles on my nose. Not many because y'all know I don't get out in the sun. I live at the beach, but I don't go out in the sun. <laughs> but that that's it. I mean, I don't, it's not a heavy, and I use the same beauty blender for everything. So I'm, I'm going to use it in a minute on my bronzer and my blush. So <laughs> I just use the same one. And then I wash it after every time. I use the, I use a bar of soap that I get from the Dollar Tree. I have like three or four of them. It's the Yardley, the, um, I think it's oat. It's something oat. And that's the bar of soap that me and a lot of my Sephora girls use because it gets everything out of your beauty blender without making it, it without tearing it up. I mean, I think it's the, I'll try to find it and link it, but I get mine at Dollar Tree, but I know they have it at Walmart too, but it's Yardley oat milk or something like that, but that is the best cleanser for your beauty blender. You do not need to spend tons of money on a cleanser for your beauty blender, and I, I use it on my brushes too. Save your money on the brush shampoos and the beauty blender cleanser and all that stuff. If you like it, do it, you know, definitely, but if you want to spend your money on your skincare, on your other stuff, you can kind of cut corners with stuff like that. So just get you some Yardley bar soaps and just be done with it. <laughs> I mean, it works amazingly. That's what I clean everything with. So now this, I'm going to do my my bronzer and my blush next. So for my bronzer, the two, I showed y'all the bronzer and now I've got a new blush. These are both from She Glam, so from Shein. And this is the bronzer, this is your blush. They're liquid, as y'all can hear them. I am obsessed with these. So I always do my bronzer just a few dots, like I go like that, like right down here. And I'll do a little bit up here because I have a big head. I have kind of a big face. So <laughs> I always, I just want to bring it in just a little bit right here at the widest part. And that's it. So it is just this cute little sponge so you can do your little dots. I love these. I did, and I had it for a while and I just didn't use it. And I was like, well, I don't know if I'm going to like it, but I love it. And I think they're like $4 or something. So I usually just do this and then I go up with it a little bit to get some of it on my beauty blender. And sometimes if I'm doing like a brown eyeshadow or something, I will go in here and put it on my eyelid. But we're doing something else today with eyes. I got the Modern Renaissance palette and I just got it on a whim because I used to use it every day years ago. Like when it first came out and I was at Sephora inside JCPenney, I mean, I was obsessed with that palette, and then, you know, I, it ran, I ran out, or I used all the colors I, I was going to use, and then I got rid of it, so I saw it on sale not long ago, and I got it, so this will be the first time that I use it now, so I'm really excited, because I, that palette will always be, like, 
the eyeshadow palette for me <laughs> but I just love it so that's really all that I do I know this the blinds are open right here so it's kind of shining here but that's really it I just do my bronzer right across here and here nothing too heavy and the color for that one is golden sun and now for the blush but this one is love cake I am obsessed so here is again the little sponge right here and then I, for this one I try not to go too close to my nose but sometimes I end up there anyway but it's okay it's okay and I go a little bit higher with my blush now I started doing that some time ago and I really like the look of it I saw it on I forget where I think I saw it on a Robert Welsh video one of his reaction videos a girl was doing that and ever since then I just I've been doing it so if y'all don't watch Robert Welsh you're missing out him and Brad Mondo are like everything <laughs> I watch them every day even if I've seen it already if I'm in like especially Brad Mondo if I'm in kind of a bad mood or having a bad day I'll just put his videos on and it just makes me feel so much better I don't know why it just does I just think he's I just love him so I just do my blush bring it right up like this and I know everybody has different different ways of doing stuff, but like I always tell y'all, do what works for you. Don't try to follow these rules that other people put on you. You do what you think is pretty and what you feel good in. So that's that. And I do like my blush. Like I am a blush girl. I, I just do. <laughs> I just love it. So next I'm going to go ahead and set under my eyes with some powder. Now, I've talked about this all the time. I'm trying to be careful with it. Um, this is the Revolution Powder Foundation, but I use it to set everything. So I do not do setting powder. Um, I prefer a foundation powder to set my makeup. And I know that for a lot of people that could be too heavy or too many layers, and I totally understand that. But really, it's all about the application, how you put it on. If I were to use a sponge with this, it would be very a very heavy layer, but I'm just gonna use a brush and lightly dust it over because translucent powders, and it does not matter what brand it is, dries my skin out. It makes my skin look like it's cracking, and I don't know why. I don't know if it's talc or I don't know what it is, but any kind of setting powder, it just does not work for my skin. So the reason I'm being careful with this one, and as y'all know, I, I have a new one. I have. <laughs> I have a whole new one right here in the box. I hate to open the new ones until this one's just completely destroyed. And it kind of is. So if y'all can see, it's it's all here. And then I've got these little, you see right here, that I can't, I can't just throw that away. So, <laughs> so I do have a new one. Don't, you know, don't think that. I do have a new one. I just don't want to use it. I, I just don't. So I am just going to lightly do a layer of this over my makeup. I'm just going to do a light layer just to set right in here because I'm going to do my eyeshadow and I don't want it to fall and get stuck in my foundation. So that's the worst because once you start swiping at it, it just ends up making a whole mess and then, you know, you got to decide if you want to <laughs> leave it or start over. So I do not want to have to start this over. So I'm just gonna put, oh, I'll just do the whole thing, it don't matter. Now, as y'all know, I did, y'all probably saw, I do put my foundation on my eyelids because I don't use an eyeshadow primer. I don't have a problem with stuff breaking up or anything like that on my face, so I really, to me, eyeshadow primer is just another layer of stuff that I really don't need. And it's another cost that I don't need because I'm not going to use it. I do my foundation over my eyelids and it holds my eyeshadow on pretty well. So I just don't really add that to my beauty routine. But I do get that a lot of people do need it because they are a little more oily on their eyelids. I will say, y'all know that I, um, I've i talked to some of y'all in the comments because people have been asking about my weight loss and all that stuff. And because I don't want this to become a weight loss channel, there's nothing like that. Um, but I've, I've mentioned to a few of y'all that I was put on an appetite suppressant and that does tend to make you sweat a lot. So I have been dealing with that work because we're so busy and I'm on this medication. I've taken it, I took it years before and um, I lost over a hundred pounds, but you know, over the years I've, I've gained most of that back, not all of it, but most of it. So I'm on it again, but it's more of a 
diet, like I change my entire diet in addition to an appetite suppressant. So it's not strictly that and I'm losing weight. I've changed literally every part of my life <laughs> as far as my lifestyle, um, every part of it. So the only sweets I've had, because I am a sweet girl, obsessed, obsessed, obsessed with sweets. And now the sweetest thing I have is like canned pears occasionally, and those have become like too sweet. So I guess your food, your tastes change. I don't know, but it's been almost two months, and I have only drank water. I've, I drink, I eat meat, like we'll do steak and chicken and stuff like that, but only vegetables on the side. I haven't had any potatoes, any grits. Grits, y'all. <laughs> I've had no bread. I did find some keto bread, the Arnold's keto bread, but it is thick. Um, my friend Sherry that I went thrifting with that day, she told me about it and it's okay, but it's really, really, really just chewy and thick. So I would just rather skip it all together. So there's a lot of that stuff that I don't miss at all. Um, I do, I do miss occasionally having something to drink that has bubbles in it. I, I do miss that a little bit, but I was never a soft drink person, but it's been almost two months and I'm down 31 pounds. So I'm really, really happy with that. I feel good. And so we'll just see, I'm going to continue on with this and we'll see where we end up. So my whole reason in saying that is I have been sweating a whole lot. So if any of y'all, cause I know I've met some of y'all here recently at my job and, um, Occasionally, um, my eyebrows will be missing because I've sweat them off. <laughs> so, so if you come by my work and you see me, please don't judge me for not having my eyebrows. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and do my brows really quick. Now y'all know I am not a brow person. I don't pay much attention to them, but I don't want them to look weird either because I have talked about this. I, this is all I got, all I got. And then it stops right here and there's nothing on the ends. <laughs> This one stops a little shorter and there's nothing on the end down here. That's from plucking them so much. So as a teenager, they just, they just don't. And then as you get older, they stop growing the little tails anyway. So I just got a head start on all that from plucking them out of my head for so many years. So I'm gonna just use this mirror. Watch me dump powder all over myself. So I'm gonna use this one. It's the Benefit, the Precisely My Brow. This one is the 2.75, it is the Auburn. And y'all, for all my redheads out there, your eyebrows, it is impossible to find the right without looking like Ronald McDonald. And it is so hard. I, I had one from Essence brand. It's really, really affordable. And I had bought those in bulk. They had a strawberry blonde pencil and it was maybe two dollars at the most and then they discontinued it so i found them on ebay and then i found them on amazon and i bought them up all of them up and now it's this little little nub and <laughs> so i really if anybody knows where to find any of those anywhere in the world please let me know i need it because i'm down to nothing so i'm gonna go with this one i've used this one before again it's from benefit so you have that really thin pencil point and then you have the spoolie on the end so I'm just gonna do this really quick I might put some music over it because I you know it's weird when you're really quiet so here we go <laughs> And I know they look a little wild right now. Oh, hi. <laughs> I love you. So y'all know that I do like to put powder over it because I don't want it to be too, too wild. So I just usually tap a little bit of powder right over that just to soften it up a little bit on both sides. So it does take some of that red out a little bit because I've used them where they're too, too red before, and y'all, that is not a good look at all. So, the last thing that I do with my brows is I use the Clear Brow Gel from Benefit. Benefit makes really, really good brow products. They've kind of almost, almost switched primarily to brows. I mean, they still have some of their other products, but brows, that's become their thing. So, for this one, it is the Clear, right here, as y'all can see, there's the applicator. 
in this one. Now, as you use it, you do get, it does kind of change the color because it grabs the color that you've just put on your eyebrows. So the reason I use this is I have a few of those grandpa brows, you know, the ones that they are really coarse and white and they just stick out. They, they just, I wake up in the morning, I'll pull it out and I go to bed and I wake up in the morning and I've got this white one just sticking out. So, you know, it's one of those things. I got white hairs and are growing. These are turning white here, like snow white here. I've got a few here and then these thick, thick ones and don't get me started on the ones down here. That's a whole nother conversation. <laughs> so I usually just use this clear brow gel and just kind of go up and off to the side. I don't really like those really laminated brows, but I really like that this keeps them in place pretty much perfectly and they stay that way all day, even when I am sweating like a donkey. So I love this stuff. There's tons of different ones that you can get, but I really, really like this one. I tried one from Makeup Revolution and I felt like I had super glue in my eyebrows. Like they were laid to my face, laminated. <laughs> so. so next we are going to go through the eyes. So the palette that I'm going to be using, I mentioned this earlier, is the Modern Renaissance. It's from Anastasia Beverly Hills or Anastasia, depending on if you're from the South, you probably gonna say Anastasia. But y'all, this palette was the palette some years ago. So when I was at Sephora inside JCPenney, this was the palette that everybody had to have and I loved it, especially, and I just got this one, so I have not taken the sticker off the mirror yet. I did open the brush though, but this color right here, Love Letter, they, we had it in a single as well, just big square single, and I got that color. I used it for everything. My eyes, my cheeks, everything. Loved it. I'll go ahead and start with Love Letter because I just need to use it again because it's been so long. So that is the Love Letter. It does kind of dust off, as y'all can see right in here. You do get some some dust in a little bit. That's why I knew I had to put some powder on before I moved on to this part. But look at that color. Oh, it's beautiful. I have missed it. So let me take this take the sticker off so I can see what I'm doing. So I am going to. Use Love Letter right here on the outer corner and into my crease. And I like to, I usually spend a lot of time on that part just because I want to make sure that it's there, like it's, and it's not going to fall as my, as I blink my eyes. I don't know. I just think that's, oh, that's so pretty. Is that not the prettiest color ever? And it reminds me of Elvis. He has a song called Love Letters and it's just one of my favorites, always has been. So, you know, I love it. So much of my life has to do with Elvis. And again, if y'all have, and y'all, if y'all have not seen that Elvis movie, listen, I think I talked, I may have mentioned it on here before. I can't remember, but I held out because I didn't know if it would be any good. It was everything. It was absolute. Now he does not look like him, you know, but nobody does. There's no one on earth before or since him that will ever look like him, except his grandson. He did, he did favor him a lot, but he, he's just ever, uh, everything. I absolutely love that man. I love him, love him, love him. So if you haven't seen that movie, you need to. Um, lately, we've just been watching a lot of movies because of my work schedule. I've been working crazy hours and we're open later and, you know, so, We've just been watching movies. Yesterday, we watched both of the Enola Holmes movies. I love it. I I want to watch them again. Like, I cannot wait. I hope they bring out a third one because they're so good. I love quirky, fun movies like that. It's just the whole cast, everything, amazing. I just love it. So, that's another recommendation. <laughs> but I think tonight, my husband asked me if we can start watching Christmas movies. So, that's what we're going to start tonight. I voted Home Alone because that's, to me, that's the only Christmas movie that there is. Um, his favorite is the National Lampoons because, you know, which I like it too, but Home Alone is just, that is Christmas to me. And we didn't, we didn't put up a Christmas tree this year just because we of her and my, my big ones over here in, in the little cat tree asleep. Um, I know that they would not be able to control themselves, so I do not want to get up in the middle of the night to a Christmas tree falling in the floor 
or one of them getting hurt, you know, or them chewing on something. I, ugh, that That is like the scariest thing to me. So we put lights out on our patio where I usually film my trials and stuff. And so our bedroom, these these doors, we have two big doors right here, and that goes out to the porch, the patio that y'all see me on all the time. So we come in here and watch a movie, and we have the blinds and stuff open, and you just see the Christmas lights. So it's not the same as a tree, but, you know, our kitties, this is our kitties' home. We just live here, so <laughs> they just let us stay here if they want to. I might do this cypress umber, this darker brown right here, just a little bit of it right in here just to kind of kick that pink a little bit oh you barely touch it and it's like it's just <laughs> i forgot how pigmented this thing is i know it probably seems like in this video that i spend a lot of money and i don't i truly truly don't um one of the perks of where we work is um occasionally you get extra associate discounts so you know you take advantage of those things because you know, I know stuff's expensive. Like makeup has gotten so expensive. And, you know, and also working there, you get gratis. So you do get free stuff from Sephora. So, you know, which is a huge, huge blessing. And it's a really good way to try new things. So what I put on my brow bone right up here under my brows is this same highlighter that y'all been seeing from Makeup Revolution forever for me. This is like the third one I've gotten. So this is the Highlighter Reloaded Dare to Divulge right here. I am going to get another one of this because it breaks really easy because it's one of those baked on top of the little clay thing. So it does tend to break kind of easy. But I know it's a face highlighter, but I use it up here every day and it doesn't do anything to my skin. So, you know, and I figure if it's fine for your cheeks, it'll be okay for your everything else. <laughs> so I know I normally do black eyeliner, always just about. I love black eyeliner, but today, well lately I've been doing dark brown. It's almost black, but just dark brown. So the first little pencil, I always do under here with a pencil and smudge it, and then I use liquid on the top. That's just what I like to do. You do whatever works for you. Now this particular one is not waterproof. It's only like a dollar, but I love it. <laughs> from wet and wild y'all can see the the labels like rubbed off of half of it but it's just wet and wild their their pencil you just sharpen it with a regular pencil sharpener and this is the Sima oh Sima brown now okay so <laughs> that's what this one is I love this one but it you know like I said it's not waterproof so you know you just be easy with it because it can kind of rub off pretty easy and I don't really like anything in my waterline too much because my eyes are extremely sensitive. Um, I just can't, I just can't do it. So I end up, so if y'all ever wonder why I don't do the tight lining or the waterline, it's because I just can't. It, it kills my eyes so much. And if I do it a few days in a row, it's just awful. So I just don't do it anymore. I just smudge it just a little bit to add a little bit of something. And then I will use this because it's easy to come off and you can just take a Q-tip if you mess it up and just wipe it off. If you follow your bottom lid here all the way up, it takes you to exactly where your wing should be. Now, most of us have different eyes that, you know, they're never the exact same, so it's not going to be perfect every time. But if you just keep bringing it up, just follow it, just extend it a little bit more and that's kind of your mark for your liquid liner at least that's the way that I do it it makes it easier for me everybody does stuff differently so I just extended it up just a little bit on each side and so the liner that I've been using lately is the one from Shein um the my favorite eyeliner is the rare beauty the black one the brush strokes one um but I didn't want to do black today I wanted to stay more of dark brown um, so this is, and it's so pretty, it's got like a glittery end down here. It is so pretty, but this is the dark brown of their liquid liner. Now I will tell you, hold it here when you open it because that this part wants to come off. So I think I've got it pushed in there pretty good. So I usually just follow that little line that I had added and I go right over it with this and then I bring it all the way across to the middle Fill it in at the lash line, and then I will come in close to the lash line in the front, 
and bring it all the way back to meet my original line. So I just do the same thing over here. I match up that line that I made and bring it in. And then you just meet it in the middle. And that's it. Now this mascara, I think I showed y'all the last time and I love it. This one's the Maybelline, the Sky High. And that's the brush. It reminds me of the Bad Gal Bang from Benefit. But um, I don't know, I like the formula of this one a lot. So I'm just gonna do my mascara really quick. So I just do my bottom, I kind of wiggle it into my bottom lash all the way across and then I go to the top and cover the top lashes too. It just gives a little more hold. And then I'll wiggle it into my bottom lashes. And I love it. So the last things that we're gonna talk about have to do with lips. And I typically don't do a lip liner, but then I found this one and I don't even know where I got it. So I need to look it up because I need another one um, because I don't wanna run out. So this one is from Anika. Like I said, I don't even know where I got this. Probably Ipsy or BoxyCharm or something like that. I'm not sure, but this is amazing. So, so this one is the Dusty Rose. That's the color of it. I, I've got to just find another one of these. So Anika Dusty Rose. It is the lip pencil crayon. That's all it says. I had to have gotten this from Ipsy or something. So I'm going to go ahead and line my lips with this. So how I've been doing it is I line them, I outline them, and then I add the color all over. But because I'm trying a new lip color, I'm just going to do the outline right now because we have two lipsticks from Besame, and I'm going to use the Dusty Rose one. So let me go ahead and line my lips, and then we'll come back to the lipstick. Okay, so that's about as good as it's going to get. <laughs> this side always looks so much better than this side. Oh whatever so i did buy because so i love besame if any of y'all have most of y'all probably have heard of them but besame is just a beautiful beautiful brand especially for people that love vintage anything so what they do is they do a lot of disney collaborations they did the Marilyn monroe collaboration i really really wanted it but the price was astronomical <laughs> Just, I could not justify that even though it's absolutely beautiful I could not that uh -uh, I could not justify spending that kind of money on it so I just skipped it and I will just live through everybody else that got it because it's everywhere so the what Bessame does is they do a lot of they recreate colors from different times in history so you know like the 40s were big in red that victory red and things like that so they they just have this whole vintage aesthetic, this just amazing, y'all. I love it. I love their brand. I have quite a few things from them. They're really popular with their cake mascara, so it's just, everything is just a throwback to how it used to be made and used to look in the packaging, y'all. So this one is the Portrait Peach. This was the It color in 1965, and this is what the tube looks like. So it's very vintage, just beautiful. And this is the portrait peach, as y'all can see. So it has Bessame printed on the side of it. It's beautiful. But for this look today, this one I'll have to show y'all another time. But I wanted y'all to see that color because it's just so pretty. But because I'm doing the more pinks and mauves, I wanted to go with this one. It is the Dusty Rose, and it was the It color in 1969. Y'all know I love history. I'm obsessed with history. 1969 in the United States was a big year. It was a very, very busy year. So this is the tube again for that one, and this is the Dusty Rose, and I thought that would be perfect for this look today. So I am just dying to try this. I hate to even dip into it because it's just that perfect square. I think it's beautiful. Um, but I got a lip brush from Shein and it's gorgeous. It reminds me of the Helena Rubinstein ones that Marilyn Monroe had in her collection. So you can see it on in the Christie's. I have the Christie's book. So, you know, I always obsess over it. So it's a double ended lip brush. So you have this side where you fill in. This one, you push it out and that pops out and when you close it it's sealed with this little plastic thing here this was i think a dollar for this beautiful dual ended lip brush 
from Shein. Y'all need this. I ordered nine of them for my girls for work, so I hope that they get here in time because I'm having some shipping issues. <laughs> I'm having some shipping issues with Shein right now. Um, so I'm hoping to get these in time to put in their gift boxes. If y'all are interested in seeing the gift boxes that I'm going to be putting together, let me know and I will, I'll show, I'll do a video, some kind of gift giving thing or something, but I, I hope I get them in time. So I'm just going to take this part of the brush and just lightly, because I don't want to mess it up. It's so pretty, y'all. It's just beautiful. And then I'm just going to fill in my lips. That color is just gorgeous. When you're using something this special, you kind of want a special experience. So, and how pretty would this be in a set, like a gift? You know what I mean? This really pretty lip brush and this gorgeous tube. Y'all, it's beautiful. But there's just something so vintage about a lip brush and I just figure, why not? Why not do it? I think their lipsticks are 26, I think, which honestly is not anything crazy in comparison to some of them. I mean, some are way up there. And it's just amazing. It smells good. It almost smells like vanilla. It's just beautiful. So there is the Dusty Rose 1969 Decime with the Dusty Rose Anika Lip Pencil. I love this. So the last thing that I'm going to do to finish this look is I'm going to take that same beauty blender. It's still just a little bit damp, but it's not warm. It's kind of cold. And I'm going to take this highlighter and I'm just going to do like this. You can barely even see it on my, but you can kind of see it glow a little bit. And I just take it here, here. See, when it hits the light, that's when you see it and you hit, it hits there too. A little bit here, a little bit there. And just a little there. I don't want to look sweaty. I just want to look glowy. So, <laughs> so that's kind of the, the goal in this whole thing. So I'm going to go ahead and finish up with my hair. We'll talk a minute about that. And then I am going to let y'all go about your day. Because I know I'm taking up a lot of time. So let me take this out and I'll be right back. I've had a lot of y'all ask me recently about my hair color. So I have shown y'all pictures of me throughout my life and childhood and stuff throughout the two years I've been on this channel. And I am a natural redhead, but it has, as I've gotten older, it's gotten very, very dark red. But I've also gotten these little white sprigs that have been popping out. So I always liked my hair the way it was when I was younger in the strawberry blonde, a little bit brighter red. I don't care for the really dark, deep auburn on me. My sister and my daddy have that and it's great, but I, that, I just don't like it on me. I think it's too dark, even though that's obviously what the Lord intended. Um, I like it a little bit lighter. Um, so I went back to an old favorite of mine. And so I'm going to stick with this one for, for good. I think, I think I'm done with trying out different hair colors because the darker reds wash out. It, it washes me out. I don't know. So this one, I've had so many of y'all ask me recently what I use on my hair. Now y'all, please don't judge. I watch, like I said, I watch Brad Mondo. I know that box dye has this whole stigma attached to it. I understand. Trust me. Um, I had my cosmetology license when I got out of high school, but hair was never really my thing. I didn't really want to do it, but I still can use the knowledge that I had from that now. And so I cut my own hair. I color my own hair. I have never once in my life stepped foot in a salon ever. So I think I'm holding on pretty good. I think I'm doing okay <laughs> considering, you know, I, I'm not a professional at this. But the hair color that I have switched to recently and I'm, I'm actually really in love with is the Revlon Color Silk and it is the Strawberry Blonde. So it's the 85B Strawberry Blonde. So here's what it looks like on the side of the box for the colors. But I will say my local Walmart usually has these in stock, but the last time I went, they didn't have any. So I went ahead and I, I placed an order for a couple of them just to have a few boxes because now that I have it kind of the way I want it, I just need one box to touch up my roots when as they grow out. If I'm doing my whole head, I need at least two boxes because y'all know I have a lot of hair. So I need at least two boxes of this to do my whole head. So the last thing that I wanted to talk to y'all about in this whole long, I know it's going to be a long video, I can just feel it, but anyway, is I, this is a splurge for me because I, like I said, I don't spend a whole lot of money on hair products because I have a lot of hair. I go through stuff so quick and 
you know, it is what it is. I, you know, I have very thick, coarse hair that's naturally wavy slash curly. The shorter it is, the curlier it is. But at this length, it's more of a curly wave. So underneath, it gets really, really like ringlet curls. But up here, it's more wavy curly. And so our humidity, half the year, you can only do what you can do. But this product, I started trying it out at work, you know, just to kind of sample it out to see how it does on my hair, and I fell in love. So we had that extra discount, and I got this. I think it's originally like 25 I think, but it is by Way, and it is the Matte Pomade. So I kind of shied away from pomades because I thought that they were just for short hair or like the boy cuts or, you know, a lot of men wear pom use pomades and, you know, or spiky styles and things like that. This is a thick, thick pomade. Like it is thick. It looks like the kind that my husband uses. He has some for his beard and his head. And, but you, I just take just the tiniest, y'all can see just the tiniest bit like that. And I can put through here and it gets rid of those flyaways and I've got tons of little baby hairs. I have two widow's peaks. I have one here and one here. So I get like weird, my hair just goes all different directions. And then I have those weird sideburns. So I do put those down too and kind of tuck it behind my ears, but you can run it all through your hair to the ends and it just keeps that frizz because I have tons and tons of frizz in my hair naturally but it just lays all of that down. So don't use too much of it. If you do, it's gonna be clumped up and look really, really weird, but I love the way it looks. It just gets rid of those fuzzies under here and it just smooths everything out. So as y'all can see, I love this stuff. So again, this is a huge container. It is full all the way to the bottom. This will last me forever. So I will not be back doing a back stock of this one until it starts getting low. So I'm going to go ahead and switch over and close out this video with one last thing. So the last thing that I wanted to show y'all in this video, this brand was kind enough to send me these beautiful earrings. So I wanted to show them to y'all. Um, Ovemia, I think is how you say it. I'm not really positive, but this is how it comes. It came in a really pretty box and this was inside of it. Look at this box. It's beautiful. And this is how all of their stuff is shipped. This is not just because they sent it to me. This is how they ship their items. So there is the lid to the box. You get a silver polishing cloth. So there's a polishing cloth in here for you to keep it clean and shiny. And here is what they sent me, y'all. They are beautiful. I hope y'all can see them. They are absolutely beautiful. So there, there's lab created, there's sterling silver. I will put up all the information over here for you for these, but they are absolutely gorgeous. So if you're looking for any last minute gifts, these are beautiful. I mean, they're absolutely, look at this. They are just gorgeous. I am in love with these and I have been wanting to show them to y'all and my ears are pierced. I don't know if they have the clip on ones or not. Y'all can definitely look at their website and see. Uh, these are just beautiful. They're absolutely beautiful. Definitely recommend these. It's just getting them in a beautiful blue box like this and then it comes with its own polishing cloth that's here. And then you've got that lit, that is gorgeous. You don't have to do anything with this gift. You can just give it to someone and they would be thrilled. So they have tons of different stuff. They have sets, they have bracelets, earrings, necklaces, everything. But these, when they told me to just pick out a piece from their website, I had to get these because I always wear the little cubic zirconia. All of my jewelry is fake except for my wedding rings. Um, I just wear fake jewelry. That That's always been my thing. I think y'all have probably caught on to that, but these, are absolutely beautiful. So again, if you're looking for a really nice gift that will not absolutely break the bank, these are a really, really good option. So y'all, that is all I have for y'all today in this holiday favorites video. I hope that y'all like some of this stuff. Anything that you need is going to be in the description box down below. I'm going to link everything possible so you won't have any question about where it is or you won't have a hard time finding it. Y'all, I loved doing this video. I loved putting it together, but I just love this one-on-one -on -one being able to talk to y'all without a whole lot of distractions with clothes and all that, even though I love that too. 
but I just appreciate all of y'all being here. Christmas is right around the corner or whatever you celebrate. I just hope that y'all have a beautiful, beautiful season. So until next time, y'all take care of yourselves and take care of each other. And I will see you soon.